Dr. Christine King Ferris, the esteemed educator, civil rights activist, and author, has died. She was 95 years old. She was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s last living sibling. Fox 5's Christine Spiro joins us with more on Ferris' legacy. Christine? Yeah, uh, Courtney, the King Center announced Ferris died peacefully in Atlanta this morning with her family by her side. Now, Ferris was born on September 11, 1927, here in Atlanta. She was the first child of Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and Alberta Christine Williams King. At the age of 16, Ferris followed in the footsteps of her mother, grandmother, and great aunt, enrolling in Spelman College. After earning a Bachelor of Economics degree, Ferris traveled to New York and obtained two master's degrees in education at Columbia University. Ferris returned to Georgia, eventually securing her first teaching position at Atlanta's W.H. Krogman Elementary School. She later retired in 2014 at Spelman College as the college's longest serving faculty member. She poured into so many uh, lives of young women. Um, just remarkable, remarkable history at Spelman. My brothers and I had each other, and we three stuck together like pages in a brand new book. In 2003, that was uh, Ferris reading from her children's book. She published it about Dr. King's childhood and her siblings' upbringing. Decades later, she made sure Dr. King's legacy lived on. A great civil rights activist in her own right, Ferris joined Dr. King's widow, Coretta Scott King, in establishing the King Center for Nonviolent Social Change in Northwest Atlanta. Ferris was a devoted wife, mother of two, and grandmother. She leaves a lasting legacy. City leaders are also sending their condolences tonight. I want to share some of them with you. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens issued this statement saying, quote, Mrs. Ferris was a force in her own right, a champion of literacy and education. She taught at her alma mater, Spelman College, for nearly 50 years. As the last of the King's siblings, she spent much of her life advocating for a Quality. She once said that her brother Martin simply gave us the blueprint, but it was our duty to carry it out. U.S. Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock also released a statement saying, quote, as her pastor, I can say that up until the very end, she embodied hope, dignity, and a deep faith. Long live the memory of Christine King Ferris. As for funeral arrangements, the family will announce plans at a later date. At the live desk, Christine Spiro, Fox 5 News.